warned this video will contain spoilers. The peculiar yellow vials carry significant importance within the world of Fallout, especially concerning the character known as the Ghoul, portrayed by Walton Goggins as Cooper Howard. Cooper, also known as the Ghoul, holds a crucial role in the overarching storyline of the show, particularly through his flashbacks which provide glimpses into the pre-apocalyptic world of Fallout. Unlike Lucy and Maximus, Cooper, as the Ghoul, has memories of life before the nuclear devastation that reshaped civilization. Throughout the series, viewers are presented with flashbacks detailing Cooper Howard's interactions with Vault Tech, revealing his gradual understanding of his wife's involvement in the impending disaster. Notably, the first season of the show avoids depicting his transformation into a ghoul. However, the means by which he has managed to survive for so long in the post-apocalyptic world is made clearer throughout the series, even if certain aspects of his story remain unexplored. In the Fallout universe, ghouls highly prized vials containing a yellow liquid due to their distinct properties. These vials help ghouls avoid transitioning into what is referred to as a feral ghoul, akin to a zombie in both behavior and appearance. Typically, once someone becomes a ghoul, their condition worsens over time. However, in the California region, there appears to be a remedy for this. In Episode 3 of Fallout, Walton Goggins' character encounters Roger, a ghoul named Cooper, who acknowledges the remarkable survival of Walton's character. Cooper, having been alive since the early days of the Fallout timeline, is one of the original ghouls, making him exceptionally rare. Roger notes that Cooper's continued survival suggests he consumed a significant amount of these vials. Cooper hints that his work as a mercenary provided him with a steady supply of these vials. Regarding the initial intent behind the yellow vials in Fallout, their origins remain unspecified. Evidently, they impede the transformation into a feral ghoul, yet whether this was their intended purpose is uncertain for now. Within Fallout's universe, various entities like the Enclave, Big MT, and Vault Tech engage in scientific research and experimentation. It's conceivable that one of these factions developed the yellow substance, leading to its widespread production. So there you have it all. Do share your thoughts in the comments, like and subscribe for more. I will see you next.